Hey everyone, this is Man in the Black Hat, and we're back with more Cave Story Plus on Rezowalkthroughs.com. And believe it or not, I was worried for nothing because I made it to the special area in one shot. Granted, I had to go through this twice. But that's okay, because I fixed something that I screwed up on the first go-through, and you'll see exactly what that is later. Doop -doop -doo. Do not go through there if you want to save Curly. And yeah, as you can see, the... <laughs> the sword is ridiculously powerful in this kind of area. Die. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Now what you're going to see is actually a combination of two runs through this area. This is run one, and when we get to the area that I want to get to, that'll be run two. Up until we're out of this area, then it'll be back to run one. Just so you guys know. Believe it or not... I was actually inspired enough to do almost an hour's worth of recording on this. In one shot. What the... Huh. I had no idea that was there. But, let's see. We're getting close to the limits of my knowledge of this game. These are places I've been, but not recently. As you can see, current takes you at a pretty good clip, and the machine gun is the best way to alter your course in this area, keep you from smacking into things. Now, naturally, if you don't have the machine gun, what the? I didn't know those existed either. Huh, hidden hearts. Actually, if you don't have the machine gun, this area is a bit harder to get through. Huh, I was wrong. You can go through that area and save Curly. It's just... You're not going to be completely prepared for the area. Swap to the sword. Damn! As you can see, each weapon has a, about half a screen's worth of range. Whee! And this area will keep you going back and forth until you try and move out of it. Whee! And the machine gun... Ah! Okay, here's where you definitely need to use a machine gun or something else to get you here. Because if you don't find this... You lose Curly Brace. Text is displayed on screen. But well, taking a break for now. Okay. Do you want to rest? Yes. Okay. Your notebook is covered in dust. Now you talk to the computer. Text is displayed on screen. It reminds me, I also recorded some findings on that notebook. Now you can go look at the notebook. Because Curly Brace is still alive. If you leave without Curly, you've lost her. Which is what I screwed up on the first run through. Limited aquatic mobility. In case of flooding, the system will automatically initiate a shutdown to prevent short circuiting. Lower the instructions on how to service flooded robots. And we've learned how to service flooded robots. Yay! Flooded systems will begin a reboot process automatically after using the above method of draining. Sweet. Click on Curly and click select yes. All the water has been officially drained. Uh, you're safe. Oh, I'm glad. I thought you were a goner. You lost consciousness, 
and I couldn't think of anything to do about it. So I gave you my air tank. It worked, didn't it? Mm. She's fallen asleep. Text is displayed on screen. You can do it. And we're on the second run through. Where I've picked up Curly Brace, you just click on her again and it'll allow you to pick her up. And then it's a matter of just getting through this area. Congratulations, you've saved Dr. Booster and Curly Brace. Ow. We These spikes are basically here to screw with you. Ow. And do that. Uh, ow. Something's coming. Main artery. Believe it or not, the machine gun, even at full power, isn't going to be nearly as useful as some of your other weapons. So, yeah, this one, the fireball is insanely useful here, especially when the fish monster is below you. Look at that, just nailing it for half a heart, of, half its health and damage, damn near, in one shot, just by hovering above it at the right point. Mm, there we go. Look at that. A quarter of its health and damage. And of course the insanely powerful sword. Yeah. Takes down a huge amount of health per hit. You can pretty much farm this boss for health. And we're done. And we've lost Curly. Crap. Yay, achievement. Hey, look where we're back. Huh. Well, anyways. Let's go explore the Mimigo Village. We still don't have the booster. And it's very important that we go back to one area at this point because, you know, we kind of forgot to get something on this run through. I was going to show you the second way to get it. Oh, but we're interrupted by Professor Booster. Oh, it's just you. The doctor has amassed the red flowers. All the Miniga in the island have now fallen under his grip. Tragedy is inevitable. Had I known these events would transpire, then I should have at least had Sue escape from the island. Yay! Booster version 2.0. Please honor my final request. If you see Sue one last time, please take her and escape from the island. She's Dr. Sakamoto's daughter. For the longest time, she resisted coming to this island. But she couldn't be left behind, all alone. She had no choice but to follow us to the island. Please, take her and escape. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. But before we do that... Booster version 2, you have to equip this through the equipping screen. And the original booster would just basically give you a double jump. With this, you can boost more than once and boost in all four directions. So it's insanely useful. Now let's go to Bushlands and get us some liquid. Teleport Bushlands? Yes! Up, up, yep, see? Whee! Screw you all! Ow! 
jerks. Get all my stuff back. Yeah. Delicious Doritos! I must have them. That thing that I never took a hit with because it was so... Ah! Get out of my way! Damn, these super missiles are powerful as hell. Take out just about anything in one shot. Die, 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 Oh, for those of you who don't know, yes, I shut off my very poor singing skills in a charity event for Doctors Without Borders. Where I sang a song that I wasn't entirely familiar with, which was a mistake. Don't ever do that. If you're gonna sing a song, even if it's for a charity event, especially if it's for a charity event, make sure that you're familiar with it enough that you can actually sing it. And we got jellyfish juice. It's important that we have this. Because it's the only way to get the bubbling, as I've shown before. Come on. Come on. Now, fortunately, when we go to the area that we're supposed to go, there's going to be monsters that we can farm for a lot of XP. Or ginormous Dorito chips. They give 20 weapon energy, or XP, per hit. Okay. Now between this and the machine gun, you can pretty much go anywhere with no problems. Whee! I'm gonna show off a few things that I don't show off in the later bit. But that's okay. And one of these things is in here. As I said, if you miss it the first time, this is your next opportunity to get the bubble line. There we go. Bubble line got. Whee! Eh. Now there's other places you can get to using the booster version 2.0. This is not one of them. We thud. Yeah. Okay, come on. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm completely lost as to where to go at this point. If you missed the map, this is the time to get it too. So yeah, I've actually been almost as far as I've ever gotten ever in this game. Actually gotten a little bit further, but uh, not much. Now there's another thing that I can show off here, and it's a place you couldn't get to before. I'm not gonna get there until I've used King to take care of all these. Alright. Now up. This is the only way to get here, by the way. Look at this guy. You got some business with me? No. See you later. There's nothing in here but this guy. Yeah, right. You don't have any business with me. We don't have the item to have business with him. So... Leave him alone for now. I know what he's actually good for. And we can't do that until we have the actual item necessary. So, we'll just leave that alone. And wow, this is... gonna be kind of a long episode. Over 20 minutes, if you can believe it. And there's something up here we can get as well. This takes me a few tries. No! 
Come on. Yeah. Ah! Come on. Why? Ah, there we go. Now, go back to the first cave. Why? Because if you had kept the polar star up until now, there would be something awesome you could get here. You can actually get the strongest weapon in the game by keeping the polar star ow polar star until you get here. Now alternatively you can go back to um, you can go back to Labyrinth and get what's arguably a better weapon. Not necessarily stronger, but better is because it can shoot through walls. And that becomes insanely handy. You haven't seen the gun I made. Someone pilfered it while I slept. I should have just slept with the thing in my chest pocket. Had I known that was going to be the case, that gun wasn't even complete yet. With a little more work put in it, it would have become an incredibly powerful gun. Such a shame. Yeah, you come back with a Polar Star and he'll fix it up for you to make it the only weapon that will um, take a charge shot. Personally, I don't like charge shots, which is why I'm no good at Mega Man, but it will, it doesn't take any weapon energy. You just charge it up to level 3, release, and it'll kill damn near anything except a boss in one shot. Which makes it the most powerful weapon in the game. Now, the other game, the other gun that you can only get by going into the, uh, going into the shop is, I don't remember what it's called, I think it's called the Nightmare but it basically allows you to shoot through walls. So, yeah. If you give up the use of the insanely useful machine gun for that convenience, then there you go. You're going to have a bit more fun. And it'll make the later levels easier. So, if you're really good at platforming... Yeah, we heard you. Anyways, if you're really good at platforming... Then it probably behooves you... To... Wait for... The Super Polar Star or the Nightmare. I think I've got those names right. If I don't, someone correct me, please. Oh, by the way, as of the recording of this video, there is a tie on ReservoWalkthroughs.com between Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life, and, excuse me, not Harvest Moon, Wonderful Life, Harvest Moon, Tale of Two Cities, and Harvest Moon, Back to Nature. If I don't receive a tiebreaker on that, if, you know, people need to actually tell me what they want, then I will assume you guys wanted both of those and we'll start with um, Back to Nature because it's the easier one to film, being that I only need to use Play Claw to film it instead of being very careful about how I film it because of two screens. Yeah, and by the way, that's not going to be annoying to film or anything. Bubbling! Not so useful at this latest stage. Not when it's low. I believe there will be a spot where um, bad things happen rather quickly to all of my energy. Ow! Okay. Ooh. Ow! Damn it! Yeah. Oh well. 
bubbling is at full capacity now. Remember what I said about things that have massive amounts of weapon energy? That's it. The dragons. Kill those things and you can damn near get a level up on your weapon after one shot. Now, as of the end of my recording session here, I have one more health pack to go. And I have completed my getting of all of the uh, expansions for the for the rocket launcher. So there's that too. Okay. Just keep moving forward, and there we go. And I'm about to lose. So this is Man in the Black Hat, and I'll see you next time for more Cave Story Plus. Later. Ow.